Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. What is up? Well, the ceiling, that's what's up. <laughs> that was probably the worst joke in the history of bad jokes. You're welcome. If you enjoy that kind of stuff, don't forget to hit the like button. I think that was a little bit too early to ask for engagement. But do I care? I think not. How are you guys? My name is Rash and today we're going to be evaluating the English skills of some football players. Yes, I said football, not soccer, because people actually play that game with their feet. So I think it's more logical to call that football instead of this. I don't know, man. Americans are just weird. Just kidding. I love America. Fourth of July, hamburgers, Joe Biden. Well, you might be asking, is this guy the right person to talk about the English skills of globally famous football players? I'm definitely not. But does this prevent me from doing it anyways? It definitely doesn't. So let's take a look at them football players. Who do we have, huh? We have Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who is Swedish. Let's take a look. I mean, I had a vision before I come. I, I said, when I come and I know there is some earthquakes in Los Angeles, but mm -hmm. this, this one was me stepping in Los Angeles, so... I mean, in Europe, the football is, is huge, it's right. big. So wherever right. I went, it's... I mean, people, they get crazy and that. And people told me, when you come to Los Angeles, don't worry. You can walk on the streets and that, but since day one... No. It's yeah. busy everywhere, so... <laughs> it is my own fault, because if you play the way I do, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that guy is so cocky and I like that. Well, he, he's great. He's an amazing football player. Nothing to criticize about his skills, but when it comes to his English, his English is pretty okay. I mean, he has an accent. It's not a Swedish accent, even though he's Swedish. I know the Swedish accent. I heard it many times. It's not Swedish. I think it's some sort of Balkan accent. And he makes some mistakes. He says, I had a vision before I come. I had a vision before I come. He has to say, I had a vision before I came. I know there is some earthquakes in Los Angeles. It has to be, I know there are some earthquakes because we're using the plural. And he says, in Europe, the football is huge. I mean, in Europe, the football is huge. You wouldn't use the word the. You would just say, I mean, in Europe, football is huge. But other than that, he is a pretty confident guy and an amazing football player. All right, let's move on, shall we? We have Mesut Özil, a Turkish-German football player speaking English. Of course, my work is to do to give everything on the pitch so like today so i want just to help my teammates to to win the game so i think we we play very well as a team not just me so as a team as i said um, congratulations so i think we are now in the third position it was a long time ago so we are really happy can go and relax at home now okay it's pretty okay english he has a very noticeable german accent i mean he was born and raised in germany even though he's turkish he doesn't have a turkish accent when he's speaking i know because he has a german accent when he speaks turkish as well but fun fact he also has a turkish accent when speaking german so that's weird Anyways, when it comes to his English, you could tell that he has a lot of problems when it comes to pronunciation. For instance, he can't pronounce the TH sound, which is the. The game. And some other things are off, but there are just too many. And also this word, congratulations. It's, it's a hard one, I get it. Congratulations. Other than that, I mean, he's a great football player. He's very popular. When it comes to English, it's pretty much lower intermediate. Okay, our next player is Erling Haaland. Let's take a look at his English. I feel very good. Anything else? Uh, you ask how I feel, I answered. What's the secret? 17 goals now this season in nine games. To work hard. You've seen the Liverpool result, they lost 2-0 tonight. In two weeks you go to Anfield, your father scored there in 1997. You're going to follow suit? I hope so. <laughs> so what's your secret? Uh, you scored 10 times now in the Champions League. Uh, hard work. What else? Smoothie? Yeah, also... Uh, Enjoy. Whoa, we're close now. A man of short answers. I mean, there's not much to uh, talk about because he only gives like very, very short answers. Only like two words or three words. <laughs> but since he's Dutch, I assume his English must be very good. And yeah, I'm just assuming he's very lazy. I don't want to talk about his gameplay, about his talent, but obviously he's not that much of a talker, huh? Okay, here we have Neymar. Thanks for supported and, the, and me and Paris and Germain and good luck for you in the next marathon on Sunday. See you soon in Park de Prix. 
Okay, that was, um, it kind of looked like he learned the sentences before he actually said them. Like, you know, I got that feeling like he doesn't really know what he's saying because I also tried to find some more videos where he speaks English, but I couldn't find any. So I just assume he doesn't speak English at all, which is not a problem. I mean, he's a great player. He's one of the greatest. He's a cool guy. He's a very cool guy. He had a great cameo in La Casa de Papel. So I adore that guy. No, no me gusta el fútbol ni la fiesta. No, no me gusta el fútbol ni la fiesta. English is not a must, man. Okay, let's take a look at Lewandowski, the Polish man. Next is the next one. For sure, we have the new season. Uh, we had the preseason, not like not so long, but uh, after the first game in Bundesliga in Schalke, we played well. But today was very difficult with the physical. But we know we have to fight uh, to, to win this cup to get the next uh, title. I don't know in the new season, in the old season, but in this this year, and that that means for us a lot, and we are very happy. Okay, I mean, pretty good English. That's pretty intermediate English. He has a strange accent. It's not, it's not a Polish accent, even though he's Polish, but it's not a German accent either. I mean, he has played for Bayern Munich a long time. It might have been a German accent, but it's not a German accent either. It's more like a, a mixed accent. I can't really, I wouldn't be able to tell where that guy is from if I just heard him speak. So, but in general, he has an accent and it's a little bit, you know, some words he, he pronounces in a weird way, such as season. He says season or something. The new season in the old season. And also he just drops the last letters of the word when he's speaking for instance instead of saying difficult he says difficult difficult which is actually a Spanish accent feature but that guy is not Spanish and then he makes a slight mistake instead of saying that means he says that mean that mean that for us a lot but other than that his English is pretty okay I don't think he has problems communicating in English and also of course one of the greatest of the last century okay who do we have now French player Mbappé okay let's take a look because uh, you play with young country and tomorrow is with the club so it's a, a different feeling but it's the same ambition I just want to win the final tomorrow and um, I'm very happy to be here because it's the first time for, for the club and uh, we can make history tomorrow so we are ready to do it oh okay Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mbappé, I mean, he's a cool guy. He seems to be a cool guy. He's a great player. His English is obviously pretty good. He has a French accent, that's for sure. I mean, you could tell because in French, you don't have the H sound. You have the letter H, but in French, you don't pronounce it. When saying happy, he says happy, which is a pretty French feature. I'm very happy to be here. He also got that rhythm, you know. It, it sounds cool when he's speaking. Sometimes sounds like Jamaican, if you ask me. Different feeling. So it's a, a different feeling. It's the same ambition. It's the same ambition. You get my point? You dig it? You dig it? Huh? I mean, cool guy. Okay, let's take a look at Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola. Sounds like a brand name for Mexican spice. Hombre, you want some Pep Guardiola on your taco? Like in the counter in the half, in the first uh, first half and the and the the cold and they didn't create anything anything else. So we here in Manchester when that's happened, it's to be proud and we we create not too too many chances. Fifteen, it's it's quite good, it's quite well. But it's not easy. So it's not easy when nine players you want to control the game and nine players in the box. Eight. Okay, I mean. Uh, he has a very, very noticeable accent. So sometimes it's even that hard that you really can't understand what he's saying. You really have to focus on what he's saying so you don't miss a word. It's a very, very mm accent. I know that guy is intelligent. I know he speaks multiple languages, but his accent, I mean, is a big barrier when he's speaking. He mispronounces the word half. He pronounces the L in that word. First half. I mean, American English is not the only way to pronounce words in a correct way, right? But even if it was like, let's say British English, it would have been half. You never pronounce the L in that word. So props to Pep Guardiola. Okay, let's take a look at the goats. Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Era una rivalidad linda, sobre todo porque estaba en el Madrid también. Y bueno, ahora está en un gran equipo también y lo vemos de España. Okay. Okay, that's the only video that I could find when I typed Messi speaking English. He's saying es una rivalidad linda. So that means he doesn't speak English, which is, like I said before, not a must. I mean, he's one of the greatest players ever. He has achieved so many things. Knowing English doesn't have to be one of them. But let's take a look at Ronaldo. I know he does speak English, so let's take a look at him. I was curious because we shared this stage 15 years, yeah. me and him. I don't know if it's ever happened in football. Mm. The same two guys in the same stage all the time. Yeah. 
So it's not easy, <laughs> as, as you know. Uh, and of course, we have a good relationship. We we not had a dinner together uh, yet, but really? I hope in the future. <laughs> Well, that's a cool guy. I mean, yeah, yeah, his English is pretty good. He definitely understands everything. He can reply to anything. Uh, he has an accent, obviously, which is not that hmph of an accent, you know. Some expressions are not really correct, for instance, when he's saying in the stage. In the same stage. It has to be on the stage. But in general, I don't want to make him look too bad because I know he speaks English. I've seen a couple of interviews. It's not the best English, but it's pretty okay. And he's a cool guy. He's uh, very humble. He's one of the greatest. Uh, he's basically amazing, man. I mean, you can't not love him. So yeah, Ronaldo, tu eres lo mejor. Wait a second, that was it? Guys, believe me, I will be doing this kind of stuff a lot more often. And if you enjoyed it, stick around. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to turn on the notifications. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment. I'm pretty sure I will see you guys soon enough. Take care.